Godt, velkommen til uh, pressemødet. Welcome to this uh, press conference. Uh, I'd like to start by welcoming the Commission's uh, Director General, Madame Lebay, who is with us today. Commissioner Vivian Redding could unfortunately not attend, but uh, an excellent uh, replacement. So thank you for being here with us at this press conference. This is the concluding press conference for this informal Justice and Home Affairs uh, meeting in Copenhagen. Uh, it's uh, taking place over the last two days, and could I say that uh, the Danish presidency is very happy with uh, the discussions and the meetings. We've had important uh, discussions over the last couple of days uh, here at the Bella Center. First of all, we've looked at uh, strengthening uh, EU measures against terrorism and organized crime. We've looked at uh, better ways of tackling uh, the uh, challenges of illegal immigration and uh, uh, asylum seekers. and. Uh, Today, we've been looking at uh, uh, implementing uh, judicial decisions across borders, uh, uh, which is the benefit of citizens and businesses. We've looked at uh, combating crime today from two points of view. First of all, criminals uh, shouldn't be able to exploit differences in uh, national legislation in the area of insider dealing and market manipulation. And uh, the second issue we've looked at is uh, a provision to allow sentenced persons to serve their sentence in their home member state. We've also looked at the Brussels I regulation, more streamlined and better rules uh, to allow a judgment handed down in one member state to be enforced in another. So we've had these uh, very important discussions. Uh, uh, for example, we've just had a discussion on the transfer of uh, sentenced persons. The, these, these have been very uh, interesting and based on uh, proposals that uh, somebody who's been sentenced in a particular country can be transferred to serve their sentence in their home country. And the aim of the exercise is to make sure there's better rehabilitation and to try to prevent uh, uh, relapses into uh, a life of crime. We've uh, uh, been exchanging experience of implementing the particular framework decision involved, uh, and uh, we're trying to make sure that uh, implementation can be truly effective so that uh, we can ensure that our prisons uh, really do help to reform and rehabilitate offenders. Of course, uh, it's important that member states now implement uh, the uh, framework decision. And we wanted to maintain a focus on the value of social rehabilitation and allow further exchanges of uh, experience and best practice. We also looked at market abuse and insider dealing. This uh, was a matter of criminal sanctions. Uh, in connection with uh, insider dealing and market manipulation based on the proposal on insider dealing and market manipulation from the Commission. And uh, I don't think uh, 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 I'd be saying too much if I could say that uh, countries are ready to review national legislation to make sure that their rules are adequate so that we can counter this type of financial uh, crime uh, which also takes place across national borders. And then, as I indicated, we've looked at the Brussels I regulation. At the heart of this is uh, efforts to make sure that we can have more efficient and flexible rules to ensure that a sentence handed down in one member state can actually be enforced in another. This is an advantage for our citizens and not least for 
businesses in the EU. So uh, m my overall conclusion uh, after two days of meetings in Copenhagen is that uh, they've been really important issues on the agenda. We've uh, arrived at uh, important decisions uh, in the area of uh, combating cross-border crime, possibility of uh, uh, enforcing sentences across borders. And uh, I think that uh, uh, it's been a great contribution in moving uh, these issues forward. So the Danish presidency is uh, very happy with the outcome of this informal uh, council. And we're looking forward to the five months uh, of the rest of our presidency in this area. Having said that, could I give the floor to the Commission's Director General, Madam Lebay, if she wishes to add anything. Thank you very much, um, Minister. And I think, yes, it is a, a fair description of what has taken place today. And if I uh, may add uh, one or two things. Uh, first of all, I think what is interesting in the discussion which has dis did, uh, been taking place today is that the subjects we have uh, discussed, we have addressed during this uh, informal uh, Justice ministers are all subjects which are related to the role that uh, justice can play in growth. And you see this in uh, Brussels 1, which is this recognition of uh, judgment. You see this in uh, the discussion we had on the insider dealings, where for the first time the Commission has been proposing a criminal sanction in, uh, in uh, support of a policy. Uh, this was uh, equally true in the uh, presentation uh, on uh, data protection, since we uh, have the, also the opportunity to uh, uh, present to the uh, minister the uh, decision that the Commission has taken this week on a regulation and a directive on the data protection. And of course, uh, uh, the ministers uh, of justice will have uh, many opportunities to uh, come back to this. But uh, this is a sweeping reform, uh, which is uh, addressing uh, at the same time uh, the uh, uh, reinforcing the rights of individuals in the, uh, for their data pri privacy, but also reinforcing internal market uh, by removing all uh, the obstacles which can, uh, uh, which the current uh, uh, situation legislation um, is uh, um, uh, having the obstacles which remain in the exchange of data. So protection and exchange. Uh, I think it was a very successful um, informal ministers and the meeting. And I think also these are proposals that uh, the Danish presidency intend to concentrate its uh, effort on for the months to come. And uh, we are very grateful from, uh, for the support of the uh, Danish presidency on this. Thank you, Director General. Well, I know it's uh, Friday afternoon and uh, You've been here for two days, so have we. Uh, but if you have any uh, questions about uh, today's meeting, fire away. Yep, let's go. I have a, uh, Marion Trimborn, German Press Agency. I have a question about the insider trading. Uh, do you have any idea when the new rules will enter into force? And uh, second, about another subject, the unified EU patent, um, will that be discussed on the summit on Monday? And do you have any information about uh, if Italy will go with the EU and where the patent court will be situated? Thank you. If I may answer these questions, I think it's too early to say when the new rules for insider dealing will actually enter into force. The questions you ask about uh, the uh, patent area are not questions that we've discussed here today. And so I don't think it's a topic we can comment on uh, at this conference. We'll stick to the uh, substance that we've discussed today. I hope that's okay. Andre spørgsmål. Fine. Any other questions? Ja, op bagved. At the back.
I'm not sure your microphone is functioning, <laughs> so please try again. We'll try this one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm John Aker from Reuters News Agency. I just wanted to ask about the discussion about the insider dealing, and uh, as far as I understand, there was uh, no agreement. Uh, very widely differing uh, opinions about uh, recommendations on sentencing. Uh, can you tell more about that discussion and where you think that will actually end up uh, with the member states? Yes, what if it's see. Well, I think it's too early to say uh, where this is going to land. What was important for the presidency today was to put it on the agenda as an example of the type of crime that we've also got to make use of our cooperation to uh, try to uh, uh, prevent. And that's something we're going to continue looking at, of course. Okay. Mr. Aker, please ask Okay, if there are no further questions, uh, uh, thank you to the international journalists for uh, coming to Copenhagen. Uh, have a good weekend and a safe journey home.